All right, let's start off with food. Ooh, I do like food. Like we suggested last episode, we ended up going to Rexburg for a little day trip. We did. Had some of our favorite curry pizza. What's up? Mm -hmm. If you haven't tried, look, if you haven't tried curry pizza and you like Indian food, you got to do that. You have to. If you haven't tried- if you just like pizza. Yeah. If you haven't tried Indian food yet, I know some of- Some people, even in my circle, Mm -hmm. are kind of afraid to try Indian food. Right. Even now. I want to tell you, you can't go wrong with butter chicken, Mm -hmm. chicken tikka masala, Mm -hmm. and garlic naan. You can't. That's the flatbread. Yeah. Just order that. Zero spice. Maybe ask Mm -hmm. for spice on the side, but beware a tandoori oven. It'll burn. Right, right. Burn. (laughs) I actually have a friend who's nearing... (laughs) Nearing her 60s, who's never had Indian food, she was like, hey, you want to go to dinner? And I was like, oh, yeah, you want to hit up tandoori oven? And she's like, I can't handle any new foods now. Like, I've never had Indian food before. And I was like, oh, okay. Like the guy from a couple episodes ago, what the hell is pho? Right, right. (laughs) So anyway, actually, I think you're right that curry pizza is kind of the perfect dinner for someone who who wants to dabble in Indian food. You know, you just want a little taste to taste, but not too much. Give it a try because you're going to get to know <clears throat> your um, Indian grandmother that you never had. It right. tastes like home. It's so good. Oh, so good. Especially in the winter. Right. Yeah. Even in the summer too, but. Honestly, we need to, the next time we go, get the dipping sauce on the side though. Like we need to ask for extra sauce on the side. Get butter chicken dipping sauce. Mm-hmm. Like Papa John's has that crappy garlic <laughs> butter. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I say crappy, but you love it. I love garlic butter. I do so much. It's so good. But we we actually wanted to talk about crispy cones. Yes. So check this place out. You order at a kiosk. They've got a nice little Instagram place to shoot mm-hmm. your cones. Right. You got vanilla strawberry cookie dough. Uh, yes, I did. Oh, and it was so good. cookie butter. That's what it was. Cookie butter. The speculoos. Uh-huh. Speculoos. It's it's like the Biscoff cookies you get on the exactly. airplanes, mm-hmm. <laughs> which oh, you can also so get on good. Amazon. Pro mm-hmm. tip, if mm-hmm. you really like those, and I do. Which also, it's basically like a gingerbread kind of. Yeah, it's a spicy, it's yeah. a spicy uh, butter. <laughs> yeah, it's a spicy a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Mwah. And, All of the Italians who hear this are going to think we're just assholes, <laughs> and they'd be right. <laughs> you know what? I, I have noticed, though, there's still a few accents that you can still not make fun of but parody oh uh uh-huh and i know this because i watch a lot of simpsons the two that seem to still be okay are the italian accent Mm -hmm. and then there's also the um let's see gay latino hairdresser oh honey do you think you don't know anything but you (laughs) you look great (laughs) that's okay which feels like that feels like you're Appropriating two things. Two things, yeah, exactly. But it's I. I think it's, it's like Jeopard- double Jeopardy. I think it's because <laughs> it's done out of love. It's true. First of all, it's true. Second, it's done out of love, not those, yeah, right, right. not like racist cartoons during World War Two. Yeah. But it's done out of aren't aren't people like that adorable? Right. Who doesn't love that. spaghetti? And yeah. who doesn't love a haircut from a fabulous gay man? Right. Honestly. No one. Doesn't like Sarah Lee. Yeah. <laughs> what am I trying to say? It's so hard to do a, ne- a double negative in a sentence. I get it. That's a spicy uh, cookie butter. Yeah. And uh, the cones were just fantastic. Oh, they were so good. Wow. Weirdly, I think the cones were even better than the ice cream. The, oh, absolutely. You yeah. could go and just get the cone. Yeah. That's that one of the options. Good. And it reminded, it reminded me a lot of those uh, Transylvanian treats that come to the Idaho Falls Farmer's Market. They have those chimney pastries. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you remember those. Last summer we had one, right? We did. And they, oh, it was so good. It's like, a, it's like if you took a cinnamon bun, but you made it a cylinder. And I have to say, walking into Crispy Cones, I was like, I'm not sure how thrilling soft serve ice cream can be. Right. But they, so they had chocolate vanilla and then a flavor of the week, which in this case was French toast. Uh huh. So good. How do they make it taste toasted? Like it's ice cream. You can't toast ice cream, but it tastes toasted. What flavor is even French toast? Butter and cinnamon? Uh, And And toastedness? Yeah. It's like. Because you did say this this tastes toasted. It does. How can ice cream taste toasted? Uh, Do they have toast extract? I have to assume that they have some kind of like liquid smoke or something 
Like liquid toast crumbs or something. <laughs> right, right. But I mean, there is also like Mexican fried ice cream. So, oh, yeah. And I think they actually do fry it. I've never made it. We should find out. Next time on IFAF. <laughs> <laughs> That's follow up number two we're now yeah. responsible for. Uh huh. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. So that was great. Thank you so much, Crispy Cones. And then on Sunday, we did a brunch uh, that uh, I hadn't heard about yet. Mm hmm. Bardoza's Tap House. So here's the funny thing. I actually had heard of them before, but they weren't doing brunch when I did hear of them. So I was like, well, I'll think about it. But um, back when I was working retail, the owners came in. We got to talking. They mentioned that they owned it. And I was like, oh, I have a podcast. Maybe I'll come in and try your stuff. Well, we and finally then, did. And then, fi you know, months passed. And then yes. we were like, hey, let's go. It's brunch. We'll get to it eventually. You don't have to <laughs> remind me every six months about it. Right, right. <laughs> So here's their logo. That that's a hops berry. Is that a berry? Whatever. It's a hops fruit. Uh -huh. Um, as the O in Bardoza's. Uh huh. And then I had the uh, Bardoza's brunch witch. Mm -hmm. And I had the eggs Benedoza, which is basically a clever name for the eggs Benedict. Um, and they were great. Lots of hollandaise on it. And some jalapenos. Yeah, that was a fun twist. Which I've never... And okay, so you know that my whole thing, whenever we go to brunch, for, like, I love me some Eggs Benny. Mm -hmm. I do. They're just so good. Every time I get Eggs Benedict, I'm not disappointed. And I want to say that, you know, bar food can be hit and miss sometimes. Oh, totally. But this was great. It was awesome. And it was quick. Yes, like, it was really I fast. I think we were in and out of there in 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when you go to the cast iron... It can be an hour and 45 minutes. Right, right. So that was a fun kind of, we feel like we went out, feel like we had brunch, and give them a try if you want. Right. I will say one thing. Little note. Only because we loved it. Hear me out. Mm -hmm. On the Eggs Benedoza, I feel like it might benefit from being a little saucier and a little cheesier. And I think the perfect solution to that is a little cream cheese because it is the sauciest cheese that I could think of. Carly puts <laughs> cream cheese or sour cream on everything. So keep I, that in mind. That's true. That's true. Even Reed's Dairy <laughs> Tomato Soup, which is basically, I think, Campbell's <laughs> Tomato Soup. They don't hide it. With right. Reed's Dairy Milk in it. Yeah. <laughs> she puts cream in. Sometimes. To be fair, it doesn't, that one doesn't need much. So if I choose to do it, it's yeah. because I'm craving sour cream. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, um, but yeah, a little cream cheese, especially with that jalapeno, I think would just balance that out amazingly. Speaking of Reed's Dairy, if you're listening to this before Wednesday, March 6th, that's Stuff Your Stanley Day. Oh, funny. <laughs> yeah. Four scoops for $10 all day long. Wednesday, <laughs> March 6th. Okay, and also, they're completely correct that a Stanley is the perfect vessel yeah. for that much ice cream. <laughs> Stick a straw in it and suck it all day long. Well, I just figure because any other um, container will allow the ice cream to melt so fast that you won't be able to get through it before it's milkshake. I love that Reed's Dairy has stepped up their marketing game, or maybe they always do fun stuff like this. Uh -huh. But stuff your Stanley cup. I mean, that right. is, that's hilarious, you guys. Right. Well, especially well after done. how big Stanley's have been. <laughs> exactly. I love that. That's sort of the essence of, I think, promotional gimmicks. Right. What's hot right now. Yeah. And then just jump on it. Yeah. Brilliant. I love that. <laughs> now, that being said, if I come in with a Yeti, are they going to discriminate? I think it's four scoops for $10. Okay, that's hot. If you come in with a 64 ounce, -er, <laughs> they're probably not going to fill it to the brim. Probably not. That makes <laughs> yeah. sense. Yeah, like one of those old Maverick mugs. Yeah. Yeah. And speaking of soup, something kind of cool. The Idaho Falls Soup Kitchen gave away its millionth meal last Thursday. Kind of sad that they had to in the sense that like, it's sad that there were it's a, good point. a million people that needed meals. But, but, but since 1985, I think. Oh, okay. I mean, that's pretty good. Then. Yeah. And also- Nearly 40 years. Yeah. Well, and also how great that there was that resource for people when they were hungry. Mm -hmm. You know, sad that there were that many hungry people. Glad that there was this great place that they could go and get a healthy, good, nutritious meal. So excellent job, IFSK. 